and welcome back to keys. I am Sambhav here. This is the third part of date function and if you have not seen my previous videos on date function please don't forget to check them out. Also subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates on my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So in today's session we are going to talk about five functions which is date, week, month, quarter and year. Very simple and very interesting functions and then we'll do some practicals as well to understand these functions better. So these are the list of functions which we have been discussing since the start of the date function videos which is date part 1 then followed by the date part 2 in which we have discussed uh, date part and date June and the third function which we discussed was time part. So in this video we are going to talk about day, week, month, quarter and year. So we are going to talk about this five functions. So let's start with the day function. So the day function it actually returns the day of the month from the SAS day va date value. That means whatever date is given it will tell you what is the day of that. Counts the date. That's the 13th, 13th day, 14th day, 15th day. It will specify the date. It will extract the date of it. Similarly month it returns a numerical month of the year. So whatever month has been specified in the date value. So January, February, March. So if it is January, it will return the value uh, 0, 01. If it is February, it will return the value 0, 02. If it is December, it will return the value 12. That is a 12th month. Quarter, it returns the quarter of the SAS date time value. So we know that you know a year is divided into four quarters. So January, February, March, that is the first quarter. April, May, June, second quarter. July, August. September is the third and October, November and December is the fourth quarter. So this is which is going to return. So let's say for example if you are specifying Jan so it will return the value 1 because that fa falls into the first quarter or let's say for example if you specify a date which is in the month of May so it will return that it will return the value 2 because that is in the second quarter. Uh, the syntax are pretty easy to use here very straightforward. So I have given the variable name for all these functions which is actually going to store the result of these functions and then followed by the function. Let's say for example here it is date, month or quarter whatever you want to calculate and then the value of it. Right. Similarly we will have a year which is going to return the year from the SAS date value. I'm sorry guys this is year. Uh, the syntax is year not the quarter. So let's do an example to help us uh, understand this. So let's say data date example underscore one and let's specify some date. Let it be uh, 14th of uh, December 2015. Right. Or let it just take 15. That also works fine. And now if you want to specify a date value then we'll have to end it with a date. If we have to tell SAS that this is not character, please don't read it as a character value. You must read it as a date value. So you will give a D here. Right. Now let's extract. Let's use the function. So let's extract the date value first. Day of P. Right. And then let the result 2 would be. Let's calculate the month. Month of P. And let result 3 be quarter. QTR of P quarter and result 4 let it be year of P. Pretty easy functions, nothing so difficult in this. Run raw print data is equal to date underscore example 1. Run and let's also use a format statement so that it says will print the date in a desired way. So format P. Let's format P as date 9 dot. Let's execute this piece of code and get the result. So say we have specified the date as which is the input value which is 14th of December 2015. So R1 is nothing but the result of the day. day. You see here the first one is day, month, quarter, year. So the first one is your day which is the 14th day of the month. Talking about the second one which is the month. So month is December which is 12 and we know that the December falls into the 
fourth quarter as i mentioned here december october november december it falls into the fourth quarter that is why we are having the result as four and the year is 2015 so very simple to use day month quarter year function which basically extracts day will extract the day month will extract the month quarter will extract the quarter year which year it falls into right the next function which we are going to use a week it means it returns a week number for the SAS from the date value. So all of you are aware of it, right? That week, how many weeks are there? So sometimes people say there are 52 weeks. Sometimes people say 53 weeks. Actually, we will try to expose the secret behind it in this session. So now, see guys, actually the problem is here because weeks can be calculated based on, let's say for example, I feel that I should my week starts on Sunday. Somebody can say, no, my week starts on one Monday. So there is a difference in opinion, right? So that is why SAS has given few descriptor. It has given few descriptor. If you look into the syntax of week, so variable name to store the result week and the date value from which we are going to calculate the week, for which we are going to calculate the week and the descriptor. Now SAS calculates the week depending upon the descriptor. It's not like I feel that my week starts on Monday, your week starts on Sunday. So you can actually specify a descriptor which will help SAS to calculate the week. Now, if you specify the descriptor U, the week starts on Sunday, right? V, it is equivalent to ISO 1806 week of the year definition. And then we have W for which the week starts on Monday. Whenever you're talking about the U, which that means the week starts from Sunday, that means the week value will range from 0 to 53. The week value will range from 0 to 53. I have mentioned here they include partial week. I'll talk about it later. Similarly, for V here, it ranges from 1 to 53. There are 52 or 53, that is, uh, which I'll explain it to you. Similarly, for week, W option, week starts on Monday and it ranges from 0 to Three. So let us do a simple example to understand this. So let me copy this piece of code here and let me change the data set name as example two. And I don't want this. Uh, let me delete all those things. Let me have the same day and let me keep a week of P, right? And let me use a descriptor over here. So now descriptor is not mandatory, it is an optional, right? So let's use the first descriptor, which is U, right? And to save some time, let me copy this line and R2, here we will use a descriptor V and R3, we will use week of P comma W. Right. So I have used all the three possible descriptors which can be used in the week just to understand what is the difference in the week day, uh, week number we are getting. So it will say 14th of December 2050, which is 52nd week, 53rd week. Let us see that actually. Let us execute this piece of code to see the result. And see R1, which is nothing but U. R1, which is nothing but the U. It says that it is a 50. 50th week which actually starts from your value Sunday uh, R2 actually is giving you the week according to this ISO 8601 and R3 is nothing but for the week which starts from Monday which ranges from 0 to 53 right so as you can see that we are giving we are getting a different week value correct now guys uh, let me change my code a little bit let me uh, let me just copy this not a minor change for you to give a better clarity let me change the data set name here let it be example 3 now let me give the date as 30th of december 2015 right this is the last second last day of the year so what do you think the week would be the return the result of r1 what will be the value of r2 and what will be the value of r3 so I know you might be a little confused whether it is going to be 52 or whether it is going to be 53. Now that is only because the weeks are calculated either from Sunday or Monday, right? Now let's execute this piece of code and see. So you see that U is actually giving me the day week as 52. That means it feels that this is the 52nd week. This is the 53rd week, which is the result of the descriptor V. 
and the W descriptor for which the week starts from uh, Monday which actually calculates the week from Monday as you can see here W it says that 52 week correct now guys actually these weeks are also affected by another factor which is nothing but your leap year see the first reason why the count of the week is affected because when you start considering the start of the week either from Sunday or from Monday right now the second factor which actually affects the week is because of the leap year right now uh, so let's say take the same example here and execute the piece of code now you know 2016 is a leap year how do we calculate it that you already know divide the number by four if it's completely divisible then it's a leap year leap year means the month of february will have 29 days so if it is not a leap year then the month of february will have only 28 days and if it is a leap year then it is a 29 days in the month of february now let's check it out the result i'm just keeping everything same except for the date now you might notice here the result is 52 52 52 in the previous case when it was not a leap year here it has given the result of r2 as 53 so the second factor which is affecting my week is the leap year right now guys just now executed this piece of code which is not a leap year basically now uh, here please notice the result very very carefully it is really very important for us 52nd week 53rd week and 52nd week again now guys you answer me this simple question now let me just copy the same piece of code here and let me change the day by two days let's say let it be five date example five date example five now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the day as initially it was 30th of december 2015 now i'm changing it as zero first first of jan jan 2016 right this is the first day of Jan for the year 2016. In the previous case, we have seen 30th of December 2015. So we are just increasing the day by two days, right? Now, what will be the result of R1, R2, R3? What will be the value? I think all of you might be guessing this is the first week of the year, right? This is the first week of the year. But surprisingly, SAS will give me different result. See, it is giving zero. 0 and for R2 it is giving 53 guys please don't forget the week ranges from 0 to 53 the week ranges from 0 to 53 for V the week ranges from 1 to 53 which is equivalent to your ISO 8601 right for you the week ranges from 0 to 53 that means the first week is 0 and the last week is 53 similarly for W also the range is 0 to 53 right and for v alone the v descriptor alone which actually follows iso 8601 week format so there alone the week starts from 0 to 53 so as you can see here 0 0 now it means that the value of r2 which is actually the result of the v descriptor cannot be 0 at all cannot be 0 at all now you must be wondering the date is 1st of January 2016 but still the week is 53 that means it is showing the last week of the previous year it is showing the last week of the previous year that means the result is sorry the result is same as what we have got here right that is the concept of your partial week that is the concept of your partial week so they include the partial week that means if the week has started somewhere and it has not ended so it will be carried forward for the next year that is a concept of your partial week so here we are following the main thing with the v is that we follow the gregorian calendar year now let us change the date minutely let it be 03 is it going to change the weeks or it is going to remain the same now if i execute this you see this has become the first week this is the 53rd week yet that means counting from the last year which is 2015 and r3 is still zero r3 is still zero why because here the week starts for you the week starts on sunday itself and for w the week starts on monday that means one day after it 
one day after the u descriptor right so let me change the date here let me make it five right it means that for value for r1 also should be and the value of r1 and r3 should be same now let's execute and see this piece of code and now you see it is one one and now the result for v descriptor is also first now it is also first so i hope you would have understood the concept of the descriptor which is used in the weak uh, function which is u v and w uh, this is really important guys now i have an interesting question for you right i have an interesting question let's say i am just let me just copy this piece of code for you and let me give r1 is equal to week of p right and let me execute this code let me also copy the format uh, really copy helps me a lot because it saves a lot of time raw print data is equal to date underscore example six and let me execute this let this be example six now guys you might notice here that i have not specified any descriptor i also told you earlier that specifying descriptor is optional it is not mandatory for you sas will not throw any error it will actually calculate the week see it is calculating the week right now the question is the question is if the descriptor is not specified what is the default option for sas if the descriptor is not specified, what is the default option for SAS? Which descriptor does it use by default? Please answer me in the comment section. Don't forget to answer me in the comment section. Do a little bit of research and you'll definitely find the answer. Thank you so much for your time, guys. And I, have, I hope you have enjoyed learning from this session. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for your time and patience and you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.